former Orlando Pirate player has identified what he thinks could be a solution if Orlando Pirate is to compete with Mamelo de Sundowns in the DSTV Premiership. Now, he has identified just one key problem, problem that Orlando Pirate needs to do in order for them to compete uh, helpfully so with the likes of Mamelo de Sundowns. If you are interested, then please stick around because I'm going to give you more about that. To those that will stick around, guys, if you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, good people, it is free of charge. Now, um, good people, we all know it's not a secret that Mamero Sandals has been dominating the PSL League for a very long time which then create a bit of a problem for other people such as Orlando Pirate and Cartagins being the biggest teams. Now, a former Orlando Pirate player has got this to say with regards to the situation. He says the following. First of all, um, kickoff.com chronicled the, the first things before we get into that. His, uh, they said Pirate have also found, have so far released nine players, namely Lindam Dambo, Wanda Mgonyama, Justice Shabalala, Nsigolo Lonyawuza, Abel Mabaso, Elsin Stole, Frank Mahango, Tulan Sachayo, and Wayne Sandilands. Right. So the former Orlando Pirate player has got this to say. They released a lot of players and I am very worried. I'm worried a bit about the depth of the squad. If you look at what Sandals have, it may be two starting teams and you will need to have something like that if you want to challenge them. The form, former Orlando Pirate had men shakes uh, Gwabe and he tells or oh, speaking to ikikov.com. He then goes on to say, look, I think I think they, Orlando Pirate, have very good players in the team. Tamiko Silonj, Happy Jele, Vincent Poole, those are players who who changed the game and helped the team. They also made some good signings. I really like Miguel Tim. I think I thought he was a good signing, uh, says uh, Guaben. Um, then Guaben continues to say the following. I will say Orlando Pirates still needs to sign few more players to give Sandow serious challenge. Right now, I look at Orlando Pirate and I and I or and if I, a few players get injured, then the season is gone. But the window is still open and the coach is still new. I'm sure some recruit will be bought, will be brought in uh Gosho Ukwaben. Um yeah guys, yeah, yeah, he's got a point. Now I see. He, he says that with with Sundowns, you can actually have two teams, you know, play all of them playing concurrently. Let's say for instance, one is playing in the CAF whilst the other one is playing in the DSTV Premiership. It is possible with the depth of the squad they have. So he says a very interesting thing, is, a thing that he said there was that with the with the team that Orlando Pirate has so far, it's a good team. But the problem with that is that if one player just get injured, it's over. Done and dusted with with them, the season is over. Especially talking about the key players. And when he says that, I was like, hmm, I never thought of it that way, but it makes sense. Nevertheless, because I've got educated people with educated opinion like you, you might have a very educated opinion. The only way for me to know that opinion it is to get into the comment section below and answer the following question. Do you agree, one, with what he said? To say the players that are there are very good, but... If one of them get injured, the season is over. So you need to add players. Two, he says the coach is still new. He probably will do more signings. In order for me to know, as you answer those two questions, in order for me to see, get into the comment section below. Let the conversation begin right now, right here.